Okay, this is a software review where I show you a program that you may not know exists. Now, back when I first started using Linux almost 10 years ago, uh, one of my favorite distributions at the time was Canopix, or Nopix, depending on how you pronounce it, which was a live CD based on Debian, and it had lots of tools already built in. And one of the things I used to love to do when I first started using Linux was just go through and try every program to see what it does. And one of the programs they had installed by default, which you probably don't have installed by default on your system, but should be in your repository, so check your package or software manager, is a program called Dasher. Now, this is not a program that most of us are going to use on a daily basis, but it's fun to play with, and it's, a, it's for accessibility typing. So, uh, mainly if uh, you're handicapped in a way that makes it difficult for you to use a keyboard, uh, and nowadays we have a lot of voice to text, but maybe you have trouble speaking as well, this is a great program to help you type out words. And um, my wife is an occupational therapist. Years ago when she was in school, she had to do a presentation on an assistive device, and she did a presentation using Dasher. And I haven't played with it a lot in a while, but I was thinking about it the other day, I thought I'd do a video on it. So once you install it, and you open it up, you're going to get something that looks like this. And uh, you can move your cursor around, and as soon as you click over here to the right, you'll see the line down the middle. You'll click and you'll see the letters start flying out at you. And what you do is you just guide to the letters of the words you want to type. And it is smart where it kind of suggests what's coming next. So let's say I want to write, uh, the dog jumped on the bed. I can go down here to T, and I got the. And then the box here is a space, and I can go up to dog. And then I can say jumped. And if it going is if it's going too slow for you, which is kind of slow, I like it up to the speed of two, so I'm gonna move that up. So the dog, and I can go up to, and depending on where you move your mouse is how fast it goes. So I can say the dog jumped. on the bed. And you can see that it's typing the words up here. And when you're done, you can copy and paste it from up there. Or another option you have, I'll start this over new, is we can go direct mode, which means you can type directly into a program. So here I have Kate, a text editor, opened. And I can do, uh, let's just do the cat ran. So again, I can go here, I can go the cat, and you can see it's automatically typing over in Kate, uh, yeah, Kate, uh, the cat ran is what we said, so ran. And there you go, the cat ran is typed into this program. Now I'm using the, most, the mouse, which is the default input, uh, but if we go into the settings for the program, you can see you can choose from lots of different languages and then change the controls. And you can not only use a mouse, uh, but depending on how limited your abilities are to move, you can actually use lots of different inputs, one of which you can use if you have a single button. You can use a button that, depending on how you click, it goes up and down or stops. Uh, another mode that's a little bit simpler is if you can control two buttons, is you have a two button mode right here. So I'll, I'll choose that, I'll click close, and I will start anew. I'll turn off direct mode so I can just make this full screen here. So now instead of using my mouse, I'm going to use my arrow keys up and down. So as you can see, I can do left and right to move uh, forward and back. So if you ever mess up, you can always hit left, but I can go the, oops. It is a little confusing to use if you've never used it before. And it is going kind of fast. So again, this is not a program that you'd use every day, but is something neat to know that's out there in case you know someone who may be in the need of a program like this. Um, but it's also fun to play with. One of the fun things about it is to, uh, if you just let it go, see what sentences it makes. Uh, you can also go into the settings here and it has a lot of different settings. So you can have it speak uh, when you stop, so it will read it out. It sounds like it's using something like eSpeak as a back end, which is the most natural sounding voice, but you can do that. But I suggest playing around with this. It's just a fun program to play with and can also be very useful. You can use a keyboard, a mouse, uh, a button input, or even a joystick, all depending on uh, what your abilities are. So anyway, I thought I'd share this. It's a software overview, and uh, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the links in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.
and if you just leave it going, it makes sentences for you. So have a great day.